Hey Math 43 Miss A here. I want to take a moment and discuss how discussion boards are set up in this class. We will be doing discussions in groups in this course and you'll have a few different groups as we move along the semester. And I know groups can be tricky. They can be tricky in face-to-face -face classes. They're tricky online. Not everybody participates and it can be a little frustrating. And I think that's actually pretty indicative of life. So this is good practice. And I'm hoping that by the end of this, you have a few folks that you know in the course that you can reach out to if you need help or want to create a study group. All right, and if you want to find which groups you belong to, there's a group icon on your global navigation menu. And the global navigation menu is that menu all the way on the left that has things like dashboard, inbox, and there'll be something that says groups. If you click on that, you'll see all of the groups in which you belong. And that's not just for this course, that's for any course where one of your instructors might be using groups. And if you click on any one of those links, that'll take you into your group space. Once you're in your group space, there'll be a little people tab. You can click on that and see who, you, who your group mates are. Um, you can create your own discussion boards and your own pages. You have all sorts of options once you get into your group space. All right, when we post, to our discussion boards, you need to make sure you have an image file type extension, meaning I need JPEGs, TIFFs, PNGs. We can't have PDFs. Those are for assignment submissions, but we need image file types for discussion boards. And when you embed into a discussion board, that file, that, that image, that gets stored in your Canvas account. And every Canvas account does have a storage limit. And we'll just need to keep that in mind as we move throughout the semester. Because eventually, if your file, if your image file types are large enough, you'll hit your storage limit and Canvas won't let you embed any further photos. And that can be a problem if you're on a discussion board or especially if you're on your exam, because we're going to be embedding photos in our, on our exam also. And so there's a way around it. We'll have to delete some files and I'll show you how to do that in a later video. I just want you to be aware that that's, that's something that's happening. All right, with these discussion boards, the grading, or the due dates, I should say, are Wednesday and Saturday. So main post due by Wednesday, two thoughtful replies due by Saturday. And when I start to grade on Thursday, right, and I need to start grading on Thursday because I just have so much to grade that it becomes overwhelming if I don't start it on Thursday. If I start it on Thursday and you've only done your main post, no problem, all right? I will continue to update grades throughout the week. And if you get your two thoughtful responses, to your classmates by Saturday, you'll see your grade improve. So you'll be all set there. And when I say thoughtful responses, it needs to be something more than this looks nice or nice handwriting. You need to comment on something you agree with, you don't agree, help them with a typo, something along those lines. All right, in terms of the types of discussion boards we have, we have two types. One type is gonna help you prep for your next deep dive and one will deal with real world data and we'll look at some stats and then there'll be an actual solution file you need to submit. And so when there's the discussions that have the solution file, all right, that need to be submitted, those will be due the following week. And you'll need, your group will need to co um, uh, select, I can use my words, your group will need to select a scribe to actually submit that file. And when I say select a scribe, just someone will volunteer and say, hey, I'm gonna write up the group's answers and I'm gonna go ahead and submit it next week and that scribe will get a little bit of extra credit. But I also want you to hear that when you have a discussion board of real world data that has a solution file that goes with it, that will be due the following week, all right? So you'll have a week to collect your answers amongst your group, and then your scribe will go ahead and submit that the following Wednesday. I will grade it, give feedback. If you wanna resubmit it for a higher grade, if you need to, you have until the next Saturday to do that. So you have a good chunk of time to do that. All right, and before I get out of here, I just want to remind you, use the um, use the browser. Don't The Canvas app is really wonky, I think, especially with discussions. So make sure you're using a browser, typically Chrome or Firefox, right? And if you ever run into a glitch, go ahead and clear out your cache and your history, and that takes care of most glitches. If it's beyond that, you're going to want to reach out to Canvas support. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.